Step seven is marketing, okay? So marketing is one of the most important elements to your business. Now we've gone through how to set up a store, that's very important, but you need to know marketing, otherwise no one's gonna know who you are, what you're about. Remember, there's more stores, there's more websites in the world than there are human beings. There are so many websites, so the only way to get people to know who you are is through some form of marketing, okay? So we've got things such as Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads or Google PPC, people refer to it as, Bing ads, YouTube ads, Pinterest ads, Snapchat ads, TikTok ads, Twitter ads, and influencer marketing. Influencer marketing being Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. Now, I'm pretty well versed in nearly all of these. Uh, my main ones are Facebook, Instagram, Google, Bing, YouTube, Pinterest, and influencer marketing. Um, I use a lot of Google, Bing, and YouTube ads, which are very, very undervalued forms of marketing channels that are incredibly profitable. Okay, Snapchat ads is very good as well. Pinterest ads is also very good. Um, TikTok, only done a little bit of testing there. Twitter, I haven't done a huge amount there, but influencer marketing can make a lot of money with the right influencers as well. Today, though, we're just going to be focusing on Facebook and Instagram, okay? We're just going to focus on Facebook and Instagram because we want to keep this very simple for you uh, because they're the best starting point. So we're going to go into Facebook and Instagram ads and influencer um, ads a bit as well to teach you a little bit about influencer marketing to help you uh, for those on a bit more of a budget. But for those out there um, that are wanting to really get their business underway very quick, I would be advising that you mainly use Facebook ads. Um, you have the most control and you can scale your business the highest using these influ uh, using Facebook ads. Um, I should definitely say influencer marketing. You should always be doing influencer marketing, but it requires more upfront research. So let's get a little bit more into each of these now to teach you a bit more of the marketing side of it to start getting your business underway. Step number eight is to install your Facebook ads pixel. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to install your Facebook ads pixel on your Shopify store. We need to set up a business manager first, and I would definitely recommend setting that up um, because you need that before you can install your pixel. And I'll show you how to do that pretty easily right now. All right, lovely. So you just go to business.facebook.com. You can just Google it as well. And you'll be brought to this page on making a business manager. Okay, so a business manager has many benefits. The main benefit being you can have multiple like ad accounts, multiple pages, and it'll, it's it's Facebook's back end to allow you to do deep to deep dive into your um, data, to do high end marketing, everything. It's all embedded within the Facebook Ads Manager, so you can create it by clicking here and it's going to guide you um, and you go create an account up here as well. Okay, so just go create your account and follow the steps. It's gonna get you to name it, um, just name it after yourself. Okay, name the business manager after yourself and it'll create a business manager. I'm gonna go into one of my test business managers to now show you a bit about how to set up everything on the back end so that you're good to go with actual marketing. So once you have created your business manager, um, you can go under here, click the little three lines, and you can see all these different settings. Don't worry, you're not gonna need 95% of them. Okay, but under here, under business settings, you're gonna have ad accounts. Now these are ad accounts allow you to market on the Facebook platform. Okay, you can see here, this is an old account for me, and I have a few of them. And here you can add accounts, you can add people, um, you can create a new ad account. Um, the reason that you want, you need to have at least one ad account to be able to market on Facebook. So I would just call it ad account one, okay? Or the name of your business, Blender for Blend for Life, okay? Or Dog Lovers, okay? Anything around that is perfectly fine. Additionally, the other part now that we're up to that is we're gonna get into the ads manager in a moment but we're gonna go into our pixel because we need to install our actual pixel on our website. So we're gonna make a, um, we can either use an existing pixel, but for most of us, we're gonna have 
to make a brand new pixel. So we go add a data source and we're going to go Facebook pixel. Okay, and it's going to guide us through and you just put in, you know, whatever the name of your pixel you want it to be. We're going to go continue. Okay, and you can add the code using partner integration, manually add the code to your website or email instructions. Um, because we use Shopify, we can click this top one and we can click Shopify and it's online. So many people use it. Turn automatic matching on. We go continue. Okay, it actually gives instructions. You can follow these instructions very, very straightforward. And it gives you what your actual pixel ID is. And see, we have to copy it under sales channel, online store, preferences, and we copy it in there. So I'm going to now copy this into that exact location. And then we can test to make sure the pixel works um, where we can verify the connection. So one moment. Fantastic. So I'm just in Shopify now and again, we want to go preferences. We want to paste the code in there. Okay, the number, sorry, and we just go save. And now that is our pixel successfully installed. Okay, and the good thing with Shopify is it always works uh, because it's natively embedded in there. And you can go through the instructions, verify it's working, and then you've got your pixel installed. And why it's so important to have this installed first is because this allows you to track, you know, people that have landed on your website, people who have added to cart, people who have purchased, people who have come back and purchased. Um, you've got a lot of data that you can get from this that you just copy that code in there. It's very simple, very easy, okay? So now I'm going to teach you a bit about how to actually market on Facebook itself. Step number nine is market using Facebook ads. So now we have our store set up. We have everything on the store nicely configured. And now we're actually going to the point of looking at marketing and uh, on using Facebook ads. So let me teach you how you can get started there.